Hello boys and girls, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I want to show you how we multiply using base 3. Alright, and remember I post videos already for you to get the concept. So you can check those videos out and uh, get a better understanding. Alright, so we're using base 3. Um, in base 3, you remember you cannot write 3 or any number above 3. The highest number you can write in base 3 would be 2. From 0 to 2. Alright, uh, 313. Three. Alright, 31 one equals 3. Remember, you can't write 3. You can't write 3. 3 is what? 1 times 3, remainder 0. Alright, so you only can write 1, 0. 1 times 3 equals 3, and no remainder. So 3 times 3 is 0, 1. 3, 2, 6 plus 1 equal 7. You can't write 7. Alright. So you how much time three can go into seven? Two times. And remainder equal zero. So in order to write three, you will have two remainder equal two, three, six, six, and remainder one. Yeah. So remainder is going to be one. Two times three equals six. Remainder one. So two one would be the representation for seven. Alright, so what do we do? We put down the one and carry the two. All right, three times three equal nine, 10, 11. Can't write 11, or can't write 11. How many times three can go into 11? Three times three equal nine, and the remainder equal two. Three, three, nine, and the remainder equal two. So we three, two, Would, that's all you write for 11, three and two. So, we will just put it right here. Put a zero because we're not no longer dealing with the ones column. So we'll put a zero here. We're moving to the tens column. And remember, you only have one zero beside a ten. All right. So a ten is one zero. All right. And this is a tens place. So you put a zero here. Then you're going to start multiplying. Three one three. Can't write three. Remember, I said earlier that the representation representation for three is what. 1 and 0, so put on the 0, carry the 1. 3, 2, 6, and 1, 7. Representation for 7 is 2, 1, 1. So put on the 1, carry the 2. 3, 3 is 9, 10, 11. And earlier we said, this is what you write for 11, 32. So we'll put our 32 right here. Then we draw our line, and we're going to do addition. Remember to always put your operation. We're multiplying here, we're adding here. Factor, factor, equal product partial product partial product to get the final product zero plus zero zero one two plus one equal three we can't write three remember three is one and zero one times three plus zero equal three okay so we'll put the zero carry the one here again we have three four five six or do we write six six is two times three remainder equal zero all right two zero a is the representation for six so we'll put the zero here and we carry the one three and one equal what four how do you write four can't write four so we say one times three equal three remainder equal zero all right remainder equal one 1 times 3 equals 3 plus 1 equals 4. So we have 1, 1. That's what you're right. Um, 4 in base 3. 1, 1. So we just put it down here. 1, 1. And that would be our answer for 321 times 33 using base 3.